did you know? By keeping Bernard from Charles, you hope to prevent him becoming king. You misunderstand me, Eivor. Bernard must assume the throne for the good of Francia. You see what Charles has become. Bernard is young, but will make a good ruler. One that will be more sympathetic to your people, also. If Charles wants the child, he will not be pleased to see you without him. I hope that is not true. Charles knows the Bellatrix <coughs> took me. He would be concerned. We have not been on good terms lately. But he sent you to free me. Perhaps he wishes to be reconciled. Wait. If it is wounded, it is dangerous. It is all right. Shh. Have you done to yourself? There. God is with you. Be more careful now. Off you go. There are noble animals. She had given up. She is all right now. Thanks to God. Are all bears so tame in Frankia? All of God's beasts respond to love, Eva. Even more so when they are hurt. In that, they are not so different to people. You have the gift with beasts. But you're speaking of Charles now. You think the same is true even of him? Especially of him. We are here. Charles camp. Fulfilled our agreement. Here's your wife, the Queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife, finally you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is from nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but. Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white, all purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man, but as your fool. Charles, no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard de Chardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, Northern Devil, who presumes to sit at a negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. And so he has. The cowards are trampled cowards! Kings, always saying what they do not mean, to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward, and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. 
I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your god or your husband. But you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a seat to prepare, and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble, Eivor of Raventlan. You will see. Farewell for now. Won't be gentle if they spot me. We are late to the feast. Long ships on the shore. As beautiful as swans. More like wolves circling for the kill. True. This is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happens, Eivor? You have fought before. Bled. Killed. Yes, but... There are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling, playing games. There need not be a slaughter. We may still persuade the Franks to yield, though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We're here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Odo leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. The High One says, "'Tis better to live than to die, that the debt till no feels." Quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is the Zodo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind. Pardon me, my lady, but I seek an audience with Count Odo. I see. But my husband is busy recruiting nobles to aid in the coming war. Good lady. I too wish to pledge my blade to defend Paris from the heathen hordes. I see. And are you one of our Frisian allies from the barbaric fringes of the kingdom? Yes. I have journeyed a great many days along the coast and down the river. And do you have a signed and sealed writ of audience? Without a proper writ, I simply cannot allow you inside. We must be wary of assassins, you know. Oh, the scroll. I left it in my saddlebags. I shall fetch it. I need one of those noble writs to meet with Odo. One of the guests might have one. <laughs> Our newest guest has gone mad. He's hiding in a wine cellar. 
I would believe it. One of Anno. Greetings, friends. What is the trouble? One of Odo's guests has got filthy drunk and locked himself in the wine cellar. Shameful. Was he invited here to help defend Paris? Perhaps, but what sort of help can such a loud provide? I am dubious, I tell you. That drunken noble might have one of those rats I need to meet with Odo. Someone! Oh, help me bash down this door! Let me... Oh, Lord Clovis, you have drunk yourself to sleep after making a frightful scene. Please, show me a kindness and... Nothing to fear. I will carry Lord Clovis outside for some fresh air. I have returned with the writ, permitting me to speak to Count Odo. Excellent. You may enter. And we do appreciate your efforts on our behalf. I need to find Count Odo. Count Odo leading us. We shall drive these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and plunder. True. The Northmen are fierce, and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath before God to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil. As we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosle, kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say, Eivor of England. You saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Evo, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Frankia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off with silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We are not part of your kingdom. <laughs> and I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he let Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen Amiens were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, 
and not in England. My men will escort you out. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. I must return to camp and tell the others what Odo said. Uh. Ah, you arrive in time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravensthorpe, the Scalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind. True. The wise sailor still listens to the wind. It may foretell a coming storm. Now. Two things we must do to carry this siege. First, we shall take some ground for our catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. But how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toga. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler. A woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover. Just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself. But, uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. Now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to this smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, Uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason, but Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking. We should speak to the Fat King. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Toga is right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker, it matters not, but soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word, once given, is never broken. I will fight at your side, secret. Never doubt. Enough! Friends, uncle, we are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox. A tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thing. Someday she may stand in front of an army, like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. <laughs> uh... What do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish piss wine to me. The Fat King. What other king could I mean? They say he sleeps here. He slept here, he ate here, he drank here, and he left here. Where he went after that? Who am I to say? No luck finding the king. Eivor! 
No, no luck. Finding such a large, famous man should be easy, but not for me. Come, let us drink. Who are these strange folk? Fools with no shame and no honor. Players who perform for the king. One of these fools may lead us to that greater fool, the king. Don't bother. It's like talking to drunks or goats. Or drunken goats. Eivor, I should thank you. Uh, for what? For backing me against Siegfried. He will not talk to the Franks, but we should still try, yes? Yes. And you can do this thing, with or without him. But I failed. Nobody here will tell me where to find the king. What should I do? A wise shield warrior must know both swords and words. Watch and learn. Greetings, good sir. I would offer my sword to your king. Where may I find him? When the great bear was sleeping, the jesters went creeping into the great bear's room. The jesters were all drinking, dancing and singing, even if waking the bear spells doom. Watch and learn, you said. See? Not so easy to find the king, is it? I found what I need. Charles enjoys the theater in Amiens. Good. Let us go. No, he may lash out if he meets one of Siegfried's clan. Best I go alone. As you wish. But meet me here when you are done and tell me what he said. By his weight! By the length of his... Stop! No! Do not measure our royal majesty by the size of his... Anything! Instead, gauge his world! Test if they be honest! Or a crook! Friend pantomime, again you err! Worlds are like water, ever flowing! Estimate our royal ruler's legal deeds rather than his talk! Good, Arlequin! You have made everything suddenly and abundantly clear! Oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that takes the little ones. Yes, demon. What? What does it do to the little ones? He dashes them against the stones. No, 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 no. Only the heathen, led astray by Lucifer, but mortal all the same. Charles, I heard two voices. Who else is back here? 
No one but me and this weak creature of flesh. <coughs> Forgive me. Talking to that which does not exist opens the door for something that does. This I know. Let me assure you, my demon exists, as does my god. <coughs> Kill me. Make me a martyr king. I should slay you where you stand, for that trick you played on me and the Queen. <laughs> that will not get you what you want, huh? Peace and a, a free hand in England, correct? Only you can save your people from Siegfried's wrath. If the world were so simple, bread would grow on trees. Odo is a great man. ...with greater ambitions. All of my nobles make demands of me. So does the Pope... ...and the Greeks, the Slavs, the Saxons, the Saracens. And you, huh? Haha, <laughs> you Northmen! You demand land, hostages, tribute. Sometimes the best move is not to move at all. You would let your enemies slaughter one another. I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. While pious Charles prays only for peace. Is there nothing you want? Yes. By now you know I care not a whit for my barren wasteland of a wife. But your son, Bernard... My only heir. Bring me the prince, unharmed, and I will consider the merits of your offer. Else begun. You want him brought to a dingy theater, where you talk to yourself in the dark? Hmm. No. Present my son to me on the field of battle, before all my men and vassals. Why then? Why wait? My nobles need to see me getting something from you, northerners. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door. You look none the worse for ale. How much did you drink? Not enough to make me enjoy those awful Frankish skulls. But tell me, will Charles sign a truce? He will not even speak to us until we hand over his son, Bernard. But we do not have the bastard boy. No, but I know where the Queen took him. The Plague Ward, south of the city. I will gather my thanes and take them hostage. To seize the Prince lacks honor. We should keep an eye on the boy all the same. Hmm. I know a man of keen eye and light step, Pierre. A wise choice. So, one step closer to breaching the walls and burning a city. Yes, and I do not want this thing. What else can we do? See you back at the camp, Toga.